Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm in the Scottish city of Stirling. I've come up to the top of the hill above the city centre, which is down there. We're going to have a look around at some of the more interesting parts to find up here. So we're going to go up to where the castle is. We'll, we'll have a look at that. We're not actually going to go in. But we'll first start with this ruined building here. This is called the Mars Wall. It's a townhouse. It would have been where the Earl, who the King, um, you know, would have had to look after, to be the keeper of the castle. This is where he'd have lived. He'd have lived upstairs. These little windows and doors downstairs. These would have been shops. So, up there. so what we're going to do, we'll go up and have a look. As soon as I can get across the road, we'll go through there. You can see there's a church there. We'll go past the church. There's a huge cemetery. But if you have a look just through this window, I'll put the camera through because I can't get through the bars. And um, then we'll go and have a look from above. So you can see all these gargoyles above me. So it's quite a good example of 15th century townhouse. You can see the grand gates just here. And there's the church. Well, Sterling's a city. It doesn't actually have a cathedral. But I'll just show you what this building would look like, the Mars Walk. So that's it there. That's how it looked. You can see the castle above. We'll, we'll walk up through the cemetery to the castle. And then I've got a knife. I've another idea where I would like to go to. So this is the cemetery. I had a walk around here at night the other day. It's a bit spooky. Um, I didn't make a video, but it was quite... Um, the church was all lit up, which was quite fun. So if you have a look now, you can see the other side of the Mars Walk. So really, it's just the facade that survives. Um, but we can, we can go in some of those rooms. So from that gatehouse, that's the other side. How now those people are. So let's go around here and... In this cemetery now, I don't know too much about all the graves, but there are some rather unusual graves and tombs, so certainly have a look at them. There's the rooms. So we're kind of probably on where the Earl would have lived. These down there, that's those shops I said about, so that would come in off the street over here. So if you look out this window, you can see that's where we were a moment ago. So um, it's quite exciting. It's a pretty big church. I've never actually been inside. It wasn't open when I tried to get inside. So that'll have to be a visit for another day. Oh, now yeah, this, this must be the towers. There's no window on that side. Now I've got to go through this narrow area here. So yeah, if, you, if I stand here, in between the two towers, you can just see that, the gargoyles, and cherry blossom on the trees, which looks nice at this time of year. We go through here. What have we got? Oh look, that's inside one of the towers. So you can see down. But yeah, we can't actually go into there. So it's just a little, nice little viewpoint up here over this part of the city. But let's now continue up, up above the, um, through the cemetery, and we'll make our way around to the castle. And then the place I'm planning to finish the video at is called the Beheading Stone. So it's a stone on a hill when they used to head people. They don't do that anymore, but we'll go and have a look because it should also provide views the other side of the city of Stirling. So here you are, it's the church looking quite exciting. And now this cemetery, it seems to just go on and on and on. I, even when you get to the other side of the castle, well, I suppose it's where it's the same. But this is the Mars Walk Cemetery and it is huge and um, it's the Sort of cemetery where you know you see very historic, big, tall graves. And like I said, I've walked around here at night, it's quite exciting. We're heading up there, see where that tree is? So, have a look at the views. Already, I'm starting to be able to see behind me. The camera's not going to pick out everything I see, but we should see some nice views when we get well, in a minute, 360. And soon we'll see the castle. Let's have a look at these gravestones. A couple of the two most unusual ones. There's that one over there with, which is like a pyramid, and there's this one here, it's like in a glass cage. Just down there behind, well you can just see it, we'll see it in a minute, is the jail, which you can visit, I've not actually visited, but you can. So that says the old Kirkyard. Kirk is what they say for church in Scotland. So yeah, see the white building, built behind it. That's the old Joe. Let's continue on up here. 
to the top. And as you can see, that's where we've come from. See how vast this cemetery is. It really goes on quite a long way. And when we get to the top, this is called the Lady Hill. You should be able to see all around us. If we get to here, that's the town walls path which runs around. So that, that's quite a nice walk if you're ever in Stirling. Walk up there, that, that starts down in the city centre, takes you right up round. Now I feel yeah, like I'm in a really high up position. See how flat though it is out there till you get to the mountains. That would have all been glacial once. And uh, there's just a few bits of volcanic rock like we're standing on now. That's the pyramid over there. And that's the castle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make my way down through the graveyard and we'll we'll go to see the car park there on the other side of the pyramid. We'll do the next bit of the video from there. So here we are now on the other side of the graveyard. A moment ago we were just over there at Lady Rock. Now we've come to this pyramid. So we're going to now follow our way right round. Even a little pond there. It was also set out to be a pleasure ground as well as being a cemetery. Admittedly, I don't know too much about, um, as I said, all the exact dates of everything. It's more that I'm just here, so I thought I would, as I explored, I would take you with me and show you a few of the things. So it's a really nice view across there. And as I said, it's nice going up to that rock because you get such a nice view over the graveyard. It's not as many. Actually, there was a tomb there behind me, but this corner doesn't appear to be used for burials. Maybe this is more pleasure grounds. There's like another section of the cemetery there. There's the section just there which we've already looked at. When we go to the castle, we'll go in front of the castle and we'll go down to where there's another cemetery, and then from there, there's another path which I said will take us up to the, the heading stone. And that's not far away. I think I can. Can I hear what I think I can hear? Not the motorbike, if you can hear that. I thought I just heard bagpipes playing, so we might see and hear some of that when we go up, up the steps in front of me. So we're going to leave this part of the cemetery now, go up to the castle. So that's just through here. Oh, and I just, before we, um, before we ascend to those steps, look into this part of the cemetery, there's more cherry blossom, and it looks like it's snowed pink. Let's go up the steps. So it's quite an exciting um, cemetery to look around. You do get someone every now and then you'll go somewhere to these older towns. They do have some interesting cemeteries, although I haven't really explored that many of them. I just know there's a big one in Scarborough, which is worth a look around. I'll have to go and make a video there next time I end up in Scarborough. So we're now ascending the steps, and this is the area in front of Stirling Castle. So that's the car park and there's the castle just there in front of us so I can see a lot of people think they sounds like that's the gentleman that's playing the bagpipes so that's the castle it is closed now and um, we're going to go to this corner that's not to disturb them and his talk and we'll look at the views and then we're going to go to another hill where we'll get even more views out this way so as I come down here from the castle behind me I'm going to head down this path down here. Already the views over that way, over towards the Wallace Monument, which is the subject for another video, uh, opening out. You can just see the River Forth. Most people know the Forth for the Forth Bridge, but here it is, much further inland. So we're going to come down this path here. So we'll leave the cobbled streets of the castle behind us and go down this slight steps where we should find another cemetery, but then from that cemetery we should go on to a more rugged hill, which is a bit more out of the way. Um, you know, it's not so urbanised, and it's a bit strange, it's a bit sort of quiet. Um, you see people sort of walking around up there, but it's just nothing like what we've just been on. So as we come down to this road here, there's an, we're heading for just over there, up the other side of, of the little valley. So that road there, see so going down, we'll see it in a second, has a really sharp hairpin bend. So it's um, quite a dramatic uh, city, Stirling. It's got, you know, the sort of the flatter areas, but the parts of the city that are up on the, the hill that goes up to the castle, 
It's quite exciting to walk around. And we're going to go down here. Yeah, no one's coming. Now, um, we're heading, so we're basically directly below the castle, although we're not down at ground level. That's that hairpin bend on that road I just said about. I went for a walk around here once and there was a boy racer and he came speeding along this road and he went down there and sort of pretty much did a handbrake turn down around that hairpin bend and I didn't think he was going to make it but he just did. So here is another cemetery. So what we'll do, we'll go, we'll go into that cemetery and um, well, what we'll do actually, we'll go down this path here and then it says public path to Moat Hill. Moat Hill is also known as the hill with the beheading stone. So follow this path, passing another cemetery. We're going to get a really good view of that hairpin bend now because we are going to be, this bench literally looks down on it. The van coming up the hill, so we'll see, see how the van has to, yeah, take that hairpin bend. It's pretty steep. I want to ride my bike up it. Over that, that way is more the industrial side of Sterling. You can see, I could see, well I can see now, but the camera's not going to pick it up. The cooling tower's over at the Grangemouth distilleries. And um, you can also, on a very, very clear day, you can just see the tops of the towers at the Forth Bridge, as in the new Forth Road Bridge. But we'll see the River Forth on the video, just not the... Well, we technically look down and see bridges over the fourth, but when, when I say the fourth bridge, you're thinking of the railway bridge. We'll see other fourth bridges. And there's the castle behind us. Now we're going up these steps, and this takes us into the bottom corner of the cemetery. Here we go. A lot quieter, this one. A lot of tourists who look around the town or the city line. They go to the other one, not so many as we come down here. We're now following the Goan Hill Heritage Trail. So we go out this corner here, down these little steps, and uh, follow this path. Now, this next bit isn't too exciting. I'm just going to follow the path off down there through the gorse, and um, I'm going to make my way up to the beheading stone. So there's Stirling Castle over there. It's a little bit windy around here, but I don't think it's so windy you're not going to be able to hear what I'm saying. Um, we're heading for the heading stone, which is just down there, pretty much directly below the Wallace Monument. You might be able to see either at the moment, but we'll have a look when we get to the, the heading stone. So you can see the rest of Stirling spreading out. Over there is Bridge of Allen. If you ever go there, go to the Allen Water Brew House. It's a great little pub that brews its own beer. That's worth a visit. It's the railway line, the Highland Main Line up towards Perth and Inverness. Stretches off into the distance. So if a train was to come along, you potentially would see it. There also was a railway from Stirling that headed out to the west of Scotland, which must have run along the bottom, along there somewhere. Um, and that way is looking out, sort of, well, Edinburgh would be that way if you kept going, but we're a good few miles from Edinburgh. And also over there, I can see some fairly sort of um, 1960s and 70s buildings at uh, Stirling University. So we're going to make our way down there now to the beheading stone. It looks as though we have nearly reached the top of the hill where the beheading stone is. There's some cannons which are fire out across the city. You can just see the fourth down there. So down there's the railway line, so that's a fourth bridge. Fourth railway bridge, but not the fourth bridge. Oh, and here is the beheading stone. So, it's in a cage now. So, it's probably never going to behead someone again. I should think even if it wasn't in a cage, it wouldn't behead someone again, but just to make sure it's in that cage. Looking down there, you can just see the old bridge over the fourth. Then you've got the road bridge, the modern road bridge. Well, it's probably a good 120, 200 years old. It's hidden by a tree. It's the railway bridge, railway station's over there. Just over there, again, is the camera picking it out, is Cambus Kenneth Abbey, which will be subject of another video. We'll do a video on Cambus Kenneth Abbey and the Wallace Monument. And uh, if you look out that way, see to the north. Let's finish with a view. The castle's kind of disappeared from view, but let's finish with the view that the cannons were fired out on. So that's that way. The castle is just over there. So from up by the beheading stone, hope you enjoyed this little walk around Stirling. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment.
Goodbye.